What's up, people? It's time to modify a seat for my Emotion V11. Let's get it done. Let's go. So for today's project, I'm gonna throw this bicycle seat, this bicycle seat mount, and I'm gonna mount it right on top of here, just like I did my 16X. If you guys have been paying attention, you see Marty did it as well. Um, I won't doubt 16X was the only other wheel that I did this on. I actually threw this in a box and wasn't planning to use it again because the wheels that I've been getting have been coming with seats. However, this one doesn't have a seat yet. They're saying it's coming with one, but on my ride the other day, I felt the need to have a seat. I really did. Um, and for those EUCs that are coming out, if they come out without a seat, it's very frustrating. It's hard to ride long distances without a seat. That's just my opinion. Not everybody feels the same way. So I'm just giving you my point of view. So let's get it started. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some leather. I just have strips of leather um, that I actually got from a local leather shop. I'm gonna wrap the handle. Then I'm going to put the seat mount bracket on there. And then I'm gonna put the seat on top of that. And that's all she wrote. All right, so let's pop the handle up, see what we're working with. Okay, so those of you um, interested and are looking to get one of these, I, I can't stress enough how solid and how good this feels. Um, and I think the, the good idea or the good thing about mounting the seat here is because this works off the, the metal framing that's on the top, you're not actually sitting on the motherboard, you're not actually sitting on anything that's of extreme importance that you're worried about breaking. Uh, the only concern I have is this saddle, obviously, but the saddle just mounts on here. And I'll do another video on that if I haven't already, because my saddle, a piece of it broke on day one and I was not happy, but they are aware of the issue. Obviously, all people having V11s have been having this issue or most of them. So they're, they came out with a new design um, for the, the saddle so that the little screw holes don't break off. I think they're metal now coming up. So anyway, let's get this started. So let's see here. Okay. All right, that seems like it works well. So I will take a little piece of this is actually black gorilla tape um, and you can use electrical tape I had some of that I use for most things but I started using this seems to be working out well So then I want to do, no, well, yeah. See, it's funny, the front and the back look so much alike. <laughs> this is the way I want to put it, which is good because most of the mounting area or most of the touch point is right in the middle where all of that, most of the leather is. And I'm going to use two hose clamps to clamp it down. Using the 5 16 um, ratchet driver here at head there, or ratchet. And I'm gonna tighten it down. This is the part that takes a minute because these are the newer ones, they're longer. Um, Last time I did it, I used smaller ones. But you definitely want them to be big enough to hold it and give you a couple of points of contact at least. Some people use two, some people use three. So I can pop the other one on. All right. 
same thing, 5 sixteenths, crank it down. So I'm only gonna use these two points, um, two brackets rather to hold it. Hopefully that should be good enough. If not, I'll throw a third one on if I feel it's not quite strong enough, but I think it will be good. And maybe crank them over the top. Yeah, that's where they need to go. Yep, much better, much better. What I did before is I put a pole in here and I mounted it up higher. I don't want it that high this time, so I'm gonna try and mount these bars directly to this bracket this time so I can take this off and just use that. Um, and then the seat will sit right low like it should. Yeah, that's what I want. Adjusting, making these adjustments is important so that it sits the way you want it. And the V11 is already a high vehicle. So, um, having these, having the seat mounted even higher on a pole, it's not necessary. And I don't think would work well. So I am going to just, ooh, boy, I didn't like that. <laughs> Some of the, scratched a little bit of the top of it, moving this all around. Now you know this gives you a little bit of, of uh, leverage, a little bit of a, like bounce, if you will, at the top of your seat. Oh, see, and one of the things you have to try and make sure you do is keep it leveled because now the right left side of this is like a little off the top of it and if i leave it like that my seat's gonna sit a little to the side so i do have to adjust it again it's a good thing that i noticed that as i was tightening it down part on See if we can get this on easily. Oh, oh boy. All right, so I'm gonna take this and this and my Gorilla Tape out into the field with me on my ride in a little while and then I will finalize the little tweaking there. I will snip off most of this here because once these come off, I don't think I'll, I won't be able to get them back on, but I don't think I'll have to. So I'm gonna snip them as close as I can. I'll put a quick piece over it and then out there I'll have to make adjustments because that is just too sharp. There's no way I can leave that. Let's see if I go about here, I think split it should be good. There it is, the seat mod. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh man, this is so cushiony. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so there you have it. My modified seat on my V11. Um, again, Marty did it already. 
Uh, I did it on my 16X before, so it's not a new design. I'm just showing you me doing it on this one. Um, and in case you didn't catch that, I did put some, well, they're not really power pad lean pads, they're kind of just grip pads because I put them so that I could grip, put my foot just underneath here, chooch. Chooch gave me the idea. So I can put my foot underneath here and lift the wheel. Um, also give me some cushion here so maybe I can grip it and push and give it a little torque. So maybe a little bit of a power pad idea, but that's what I got. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, hope it helped you if you got a V11 or if you're getting one and thinking about doing this. Uh, I'm gonna ride a little bit and see how I like it. Um, I may reverse this bracket because the way I put it, it's facing up. Um, if you turn it around, then it, you know it'll be facing the other way and it'll be facing down. Um, you can do that as well. Um, I'll see which way I like it, but for right now, this is how I'm riding it. So I'm getting ready to go, packing up, going to meet a couple people, and we're gonna ride around. So I'll let you know how it turns out. Hopefully I can put some ride footage in here. If not, then just keep looking, keep watching future videos because obviously I will have videos with me riding with this modified seat on this V11, this amazing V11. Still loving it. Till next time guys, if you like the video, if you're still here in fact, please hit, up, hit the like button for me. It helps, it really does. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos from me. And if you really wanna see the videos, go ahead and hit that bell notification it'll tell you when i put out new videos weekly all right till next time guys remember ride hard and keep it wheel peace